Kawhi has shown that he can be one of the top players in the NBA. I mean, whenever he ain't hurt, you know what I'm saying? You know, he got a, got a little low management here. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I'm talking two-way inside-out scorer with the max wingspan. We saw what he did in San Antonio, and then he went over to Toronto where he hit one of the toughest shots that the league has seen in a long time. Shot was so tough, even Joel Embiid was crying. Hell yeah. Now, lately, it's been up and down in L.A., and some speculate that, you know, maybe New Balance ain't it. Maybe you should have stayed with Jordan Brand. However, I think the claw is on to something. You know what I'm saying? Bringing New Balance back. And after looking at the Kawhi 4, seems like it's a pretty promising sneak. But there's only one way to find out. Since Kawhi ain't hooping, I guess, we got to hoop in it. Let's see what it's talking about. What's good, YouTube? Jay Jones here. And today, we're going to break down the New Balance Kawhi 4. Not gonna lie, when I first got these, I was kind of like, mm, I mean, they look straight, like the colorway is straight. But surprisingly, it performs a lot better than I think a lot of people would expect it to perform. And hey, it's safe to say New Balance on the come up, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they done found some balance with what they doing with these new products, you feel me? So, you know, I just kind of wanted to show you guys or tell you guys about the shoe. You may like it. There are some things that I think that could be better as well, but not bad, man. Not bad overall. And I think to start, we got to go with the trash. The Kawhi 4 has a maze traction pattern that's pretty solid overall on multiple courts. Hardly no break-in time is needed, and it provided pretty consistent grip when sliding, when planting, and making the moves that you like to make. You can be a basketball player in these. Now, I still don't think I will take these outside just based off how the traction pattern is designed. You will get some dust to kind of build up within the grooves. With it being a little spaced out like that, I feel like that's expected. You know, we've seen traction patterns like this before. But like I always say, like you should be doing anyway, just be sure to wipe be sure to be a basketball player when it's all said and done that's gonna help the traction the most. Now the materials, the Kawhi 4 has an engineered mesh upper and I'm not gonna lie, it's actually pretty solid on foot. I mean, as you can see here, it kind of breaks down and conforms on top of your foot like how you would expect. Of course, it's not like the same engineered mesh that's, you know, that we had when, when the Kobe 8 first dropped. You know, I think that, that's just one of a kind. I like this, man. They found something that works and they made it cool for a variety of colorways. As you can see here, the pink on these joints popping. You know what I'm saying? I just left the gym and a lot of people was like, yo, Jay, I really like them sneakers, man. And I think having a material choice that you can manipulate, but still finding a, a good balance for functionality is always a W. Now let's talk about the cushion, which is probably my favorite feature on the shoe. The Kawhi 4 has a dual density fuel cell midsole, and it's actually a pretty noticeable setup. Like you can feel that fuel cell underfoot right away. It's pretty bouncy and reactive, which I wasn't expecting at all. Now you gotta know when you got a setup that's like this, it will take away from your court feel a little bit. You are slightly elevated off the ground. You got a little reinforcement for impact protection. It's a give and take type of setup. Nothing wrong with it, comes down to preference. And I'ma keep it a bean. To me, this is a true call out to Kawhi. We all know about Kawhi's injuries. And at this point, I can only imagine what his knees are feeling like. You know what I'm saying when he's playing now. So to me, this was a uh, this was a setup that was made for him to just kind of be sustainable, a little more sustainable on the court. Nice little 70-30 split, I would say. 70% cushion and 30% court fit. Now the fit, lockdown, and support. Now to me, this is where I feel like the shoe got a little tricky. For starters, I feel like if you can, just try them on, man. Don't even <laughs> don't even trip. Look, I know you're trying to figure it out. The Kawhi shouldn't be selling out like that. Just go to your store and just try them on. If you can't, I feel like your best option is to go true to size. I went true to size. Y'all know my feet are, you know, pretty normal for the most part. And I was good. I ain't gonna, hey, I was straight. Now I will admit it does have a slightly wide base to it. So my narrow foot guys, it may not hurt to go half a size down. I don't think it's as wide as the Kai one. You know what I'm saying? Like for me, that Kai one, I think I even should have went down half a size. This isn't as wide to me. But again, if your feet are like super narrow, then it wouldn't hurt to, you know, maybe just try half size down. Now there is a TPU heel cage and the energy arc plate midfoot for added stability and support. The heel cage, straight, A1. The shank though, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it made the shoe feel a little weird at first. This joint right here, I did. I thought it made the shoe feel a little weird at first. I thought it made the shoe feel a little stiff midfoot. As we know, the shank is there to support the foot, stiffen the outsole for a more stable fit. But I do feel like it could have been executed a little better. The Jordan 29, for example, I know y'all, <laughs> dude, you gotta let it go. The pass is the pass. Like I know, <laughs> I know I'm always going back to, you know, some of the like my favorite sneakers of all time, but it wasn't necessarily a midfoot shank there, but the tooling underneath 
just made it feel a little smooth, man. It was just, uh, they kind of felt like, almost like a bridge, you know what I'm saying? Like you could just, We'll just travel right over here it was more like a speed bump i ain't gonna lie like it was it wasn't as smooth like it's not bad but you know how you gotta kind of you gotta kind of maneuver and like break it down a little bit to get it to feel the way that you want here i thought this just made the setup a little less one-to-one -one, you know what i'm saying but it's not terrible you know what i'm saying give it some time you'll get used to it it'll break in it'll you know it'll work out so i don't want to make it seem like it's terrible just something that i kind of noticed when i was hooping in it initially but overall man i haven't hooped in a new balance shoe in a minute and to me this is one of the better ones i'm not gonna lie i think the colorway the colorway on this joint like we talked about that helps a lot my bigger wing type of players who, who need a little more i think I, I think this is a good option for you even if you're like a uh, a power forward but you still kind of want to play fairly quick then uh, i think this shoe is versatile enough to uh to kind of give you what you're looking for as well but overall super solid sneaker man new balance i gotta give you your props you know what i'm saying i've been kind of sleep i've been kind of sleep i've heard some really good things about new balance and now hey i see why i ain't gonna lie that that fuel cell that fuel cell hard like <laughs> i got that on i'm like hold on i kind of feel bouncy it's all right it's all right for sure but that's it for me man thank you guys for being here let me know what sneaker i can review next hey y'all can't hey y'all can't say i ain't i ain't reviewing other brands come on I, I think next i might go ar1 and i'm or i might go with them 360 them yokis joints come on hey look look see just because the nike sign in the back don't mean i'm signed look that's come on as always if you're looking for a new tee wristbands hoodies Actually, hoodies might be gone now. It's getting a little, getting a little warm. Neverfold.shop is the place to go. You know, continue to show your boy some love over there. Get that ordered, and uh, yeah, I get that sent right out to you. Also, if you don't see me here, me and my brother, we do have a podcast, The Walk Ons Pod. Be sure to go check us out. We talk all things basketball. That's high school. That's college. That's NBA. You know what I'm saying? Be sure to subscribe over there. Uh, show us a little love. We would greatly appreciate it. And lastly, be sure to follow your boy on Instagram at. I am Jay Jones, and I'm sure you know why, but why? Because I can't get brand deals without you. There, I said it. Hey, every follow, every follow means the most, man. You know how it go. I mean, hey, y'all up, that next year down. You feel me? <laughs> so I need you. I need you over there, man. Help our, help our brother out. But as always, I appreciate you guys. Let me know what you want next. Leave your thoughts on the Kawhi 4 if you have a pair in the comments below. Be on the lookout for them few videos on the, on the new channel coming soon. Peace, Jerks. I'm out. On the night I was born, the rain was pouring, God was crying, lightning struck, power out, his sparks was flying. Couple vids ago, this guy doesn't review anything but the top Nike products. This guy stinks. Nah, hey, relax. Hey, come on. Hey.